Today I'm gonna sharpen my drill bits using this Drill Doctor 500X and uh, for practice I already sharpened some of these bits like this one it's uh it only takes about a minute or two to sharpen a bit a big one if it's really bad but if it's some of the smaller ones it takes uh 30 seconds to sharpen it up to make it perfect again and a lot of i'm gonna try this one i don't know um i really beat it up <laughs> i'm gonna see what i could do with this and um like this one's still perfect so i'm not gonna touch it um, but i have all these bits uh, and half of them are dull so i'll give it a try and uh you guys can sharpen them with all right so this is how this thing works uh this is a chuck and uh you put a drill bit in here so i'll start with uh let's see this looks like about a quarter inch bit and um you just put it right inside this chuck and you gotta loosen it up. Uh, the more you loosen it, the more this opens up. So you could put up to, oh, I think, half an inch bit in. So once you slide it in, kinda tighten it till it's close to where you want it to be, but it still has to move freely. All right, and then uh, there's a straight line over here on two sides, so you have the white lines over here and you don't want them to come up and I'm going with the original one 118 degree line and just slide it in as far as it goes and press this button which opens up these teeth over here see these two little teeth and you slide this as far forward as you can so just press on the drill and when this closes it catches the drill bit right where it needs to be to go inside and sharpen so once that's in oh, once that's in just keep pushing in the bit and tighten the chuck once that's tightened pull it out and tighten it just a little bit more all right now we turn this on and we're gonna pop it in and just keep spinning it and uh, just listen to the grinder and the less it grinds uh, it's pretty close to being done so This is what it looks like. Looks pretty sharp to me. All right, now another thing you could do, you see how this is? Uh, there's a self-tapping part, and that's on this side of the bit. And what you have to do is, you have white lines on top of this chuck, or on the side of this chuck, and it has to line up with a little line over here. So let's just, <clears throat> so this is what it looks like without being a uh, soft tapping bit and uh, we'll soft tap it so <laughs> motorcycle uh, so what it does is it cuts a little notch on the side and that makes the drill go in a lot easier into metal or wood or whatever you're going it kind of catches the metal and forces it in easy does it all right so here's what I'll do next I'm gonna sharpen this bit you see how um, how bad it is it's got this little Tip. So first I'm going to do is grind this off. See, 
of that. Then I'm gonna pop this bit in this chuck, have it come out. And uh, the same thing with this, put it in here. Set it to that 118, 118 degree mark. Clamp it. All right, and then tighten the chuck. Got it. And you see how bad this is. All right, we'll make it look like a drill bit again. We're getting a little bit closer. I think I have to slide this back into this part and move the bit forward a little bit. And clamp it again. Man, it's hard to see, hard to focus. I'm gonna have to reset the drill bit again. So now it looks like a perfectly sharp bit again. And let's countersink it or make it countersink. And there you have it perfectly sharp bit. I'm going to try sharpening this. It's, it looks like he hit it up till I melted the bit uh, right at the top. So So this is what it needs to look like. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. It doesn't fit in this chuck. 
Let's see if I could just freehand it somehow. All right, I'm just gonna try to freehand it. the grinder so sharpened all right 